Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with our admin commands by adding a new command. This time, we're going to be able to freeze the players. So right now, my player can walk around and jump like normal. The command for this time is going to be slash freeze. And then you can put the player's name. And then when you enter this command, whichever player you want to freeze won't be able to walk around or jump. So I'm pressing the movement controls and the space bar and nothing's happening. We can also unfreeze the player by doing slash unfreeze. And then the player's name. And when we do that, if you froze a player, then they can move again. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so to get started, we're going to open up the admin script that should be inside the server script service. To be able to freeze and unfreeze the player, we're gonna be adding two more functions. So let's go ahead and add our first one right below the kill function. So we're gonna be making a function, so we'll say local function. The name of the function can be freeze player. Inside the parentheses, we're gonna pass person. So this will be the player that we want to freeze. Then inside the function, we're going to say local player. And that's going to be equal to game dot players colon find first child. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put person. To freeze the player, we want to make sure that they can't move or jump. So to take care of the movement, we're going to say player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed and we're going to set that equal to zero and then we also want to make sure that the player can't jump either so to do that it's going to be very similar but instead of walk speed we're going to be changing the jump power so all we need to do is just copy and paste it and then change this last part here so instead of walk speed we're going to change this to jump power and then to unfreeze the player, all we have to do is change the walk speed and the jump power back to normal. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this function here. And then we'll just paste it down below. We'll change this to unfreeze player. And then for the walk speed, the default is 16. And then for jump power, it's 50. Okay, down here in our main function, we need to make a couple more if statements. So right here, I'm going to say else if, and then action equal to, this time I'm going to be checked to see if it's equal to freeze, so slash freeze, okay, if it's equal to slash freeze, then I want to run my function right here, so that's going to be freeze underscore player, and then I'm going to make another else if. This time I'm checking for unfreeze. And if it's unfreeze, then I want to run this function right here. Okay, for both of these, we need to pass the player. So we're going to put person inside of here. All right, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and check it out and make sure it works. Okay, so right now my player can walk around and jump like normal. Let's go ahead and try the command now. So it's going to be slash freeze. And then the player's name, so I'm going to put my name. And then we'll do enter. Okay, so right now we have an error that says invalid command, and I think I know why. So if we head back to the admin script, we need to add it up here to our actions list. So we're going to do a comma. And then here we're going to say slash freeze. And then we also need to add unfreeze. So we'll do the same thing, but this time we'll put slash unfreeze. All right, let's go and try it again. All right, so the player can walk around and jump like normal. Let's go and try the command again. All right, and now if I try to move or jump, it doesn't let me. Let's go and try to unfreeze the player. So we'll do slash unfreeze, and then my name, and then we'll press enter. And now my player can walk around 
and jump like before. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.